you are going to school and all of a sudden your cycle is punctured and at that time you are very hungry also and there is one shop right next to where you are standing so what you will do if you have money also you will go and buy something to eat isn't it so when you are going to buy something are you grabbing something from the shop no you are giving money to that shopkeeper and in return that shopkeeper is giving you chips or biscuits or something like that so what is happening what you are needing that shopkeeper is giving you and in return you are giving the shopkeeper money so both are in profit in some way or the other no one is under loss yes the same thing happens with the last topic of heterotrophic plant which is symbiotic plants when two organism live together by sharing nutrients and shelter this kind of association is called as symbiotic association and those plants which undergo such association is called as symbiotic plants and the relationship is called as symbiosis very common example of such symbiotic relationship or symbiotic association is lichen in this there is symbiosis between two organism one is fungus and the other is algae basically algae is nothing but the green algae not the red or the brown one because green algae can undergo photosynthesis and produce nutrients these nutrients are utilized by the fungus and in return this fungus gives shelter water and helps in surviving in the very harsh condition where it is impossible for the algae to survive now there are few places where there is very less nutrients present in the soil so what happens when the plants are growing over there slowly as the days pass the nutrients which is present in the soil is completely utilized then the plants which are present in that region becomes deficient in nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and in such condition the leguminous plant come in association with bacteria which is named as rhizobium now these rhizobium what they actually do is let us study and understand it with the help of this diagram suppose this is the leguminous plant and these are the roots now these roots are present inside the soil and here the rhizobium produces nodules on this roots nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere get converted into nitrate due to this nodules and this is how the rhizobium which is the bacteria helps the leguminous plant to fix nitrogen and decrease its deficiency in return the rhizobium get food and shelter from this leguminous plant this is the symbiotic association between rhizobium and the leguminous plant other than that we sometimes find when we go in a agricultural land farmers grow leguminous plant in between two cereal crops or any other plants because leguminous plant consists of nitrogen fixing bacteria and this bacteria helps in the replenishment of the soil now what is replenishment it is a process in which the physical and the chemical properties of the soil is regained and the soil becomes fit for cultivation so this was all about symbiotic plants and the replenishment of nutrition in the soil thank you